The World Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mississippi's Gulf Coast. We're at the majestic Bull Revives Resort and Casino for the Southern Poker Championship. I'm Mike Sexton, along with Vince Van Patten, and this is the WPT. And, Mike, there is nothing like poker served up Southern style here at the Beau Rivage. And the money up for grabs here tonight would make a victory sweeter than a mint julep on a <laughs> summer night. Well, Vince, victory would be sweet, but I doubt there's going to be any drinking until this battle is won as six hard-nosed players are going to set out to prove that they've got what it takes to become the next WPT champion. And the player to beat tonight, our chip leader, the poker pro no Known as the Alabama Cowboy, WPT champ Hoyt Corkins. Hoyt is going for his second WPT title, but it's not going to be easy. The table is filled with talented players, including local pro Tyler Smith, who made the final table here at the Bow last season. Yeah, last time Tyler only played a few hands before being knocked out in fifth place, but tonight he's looking to come out of the gate strong and prove he has what it takes to become the next WPT champion. Big money, a prestigious title, and the coveted Tiffany's WPT Champions bracelet. They're all on the line down south tonight. Uh, what are we waiting for, Mike? Finish up the grits, and let's go watch a gamble. Okay, the final table of the Southern Poker Championship about to get underway. We started four days ago with 208 players. We are down to our final six. The winner tonight taking well over 700000 home with him. Well, there you see our chip leader is WPT champ Hoyt Corkins. Going for a second WPT title tonight. Let's see if he can do it. At this beautiful Beau Rivage in Biloxi, Mississippi. This is exciting, and the Andes are going to start at 3,000. Blinds are 10 and 20 here tonight, Mike. Let's go to the felt. Let's look at the cards. Jonathan Cantor, he is first to act. He's an oil man, and he quickly folds a 10 4. And now Jerry Van Strydunk is going to raise with his A7. James Reed, owner of a roofing company, he lays down as well. And now it's on Jared Jaffe from Brooklyn. Also going out. Now it's Tyler Smith with an ace five, and he's considering this. Oh, Vince, he's only 23 years old. Played three WPT events. Made this final table one year ago. He's back again. Well, he's not just going to call. He's going to bump it up. Makes it 247,000. Incredible, Vince. He told us he's going to be more aggressive. Not going to wait for cards this time around. Going to force the action. He's doing it right here on and one. But here's the star at the table. Hoyt Corkins with a suited connector. Hoyt looking to take down his second WPT title, but he quickly folds. 247. And back around to the original Razor. And Jerry goes out. Tyler Smith taking down the first pot. He's starting out in second chip position at this final table. Tyler's family in the audience. Mom Donna. So big, Tyler. Yeah. I thought you might think it was an accident. <laughs> I think it was still. <laughs> Tyler Smith. He's a young guy, lives around here, pretty close to here. He's a local pro at the casino in Biloxi, and he's going to get aggressive here tonight so far. Well, he finished fifth last year. He said he is looking to win tonight. Right back to the table. First to act, Jerry Van Strydunk from Rochester, New York, an online pro. He quickly folds a King Jack. And James Reed, guy who got in here on a $500 satellite. Out as well. Now Jared Jaffe from Brooklyn went to law school, was a lawyer for two days, decided I've had enough of that. I'm going to become a poker <laughs> professional. He's going to fold this hand. Tyler Smith going to raise it up here, Vance, with just a queen deuce offsuit. Makes it 52,000 to go. But looking very ominous right behind him, Hoyt Corkins, the Alabama Cowboy. He's got these 10 of diamonds. Hoyt's not a guy you push around too easy, I can tell you that. Has an incredible track record at WPT final tables. This is sixth appearance. And he's going to re-raise. Oh, he comes right over the top for another 100,000. Just going to put pressure right back on the 23-year-old. The oil man from Oklahoma has to fold. Back on Tyler Smith. It's only got Queen Deuce. I want to do it bad. What? Look at this. Tyler Smith says, oh, I'd like to shove on you. I don't think Hoyt's that strong, but 
Yeah, well, Tyler's going to lay it down, so <laughs> chip leader Hoyt Corkin is going to take down that pot and extend his chip lead. Yeah, they want you to show here. Who, me? No, I mean, all y'all do. You want me to take out a player, don't you? We're going to find out if you're telling the truth on that one. Well, I mean, I don't know. I could have folded. And Hoyt is definitely the superstar at this table. He's always wanting to gamble. This is true. Hoyt's track record at WPT final table is really impressive to me. He's finished first, second, second, third, and who knows what he's going to do tonight. Could he win yet again? And he's an intimidating figure, no doubt about it. Hoyt Corkins, our chip leader at this moment. Action's back on him. He has just a jack seven of hearts. And he's under the gun, going to let it go. Likes to say he's a position player. Doesn't like his position, folds it. Okay, Jonathan Cantor, the oil man out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's going to go out. And now the online pro. Jerry Vince Drydunk once again goes out. James Reed out as well. So let's go to Mr. Brooklyn here. Jared Jaffe with a suited connector, 6-7 of diamonds. The guy graduated from law school, passed the bar. And then he had a job for two days and quit. He said, I like poker more, and here he is. <laughs> Gotta love that. Now he just calls, but Tyler Smith How much? coming back over the top makes it 65 to call. And Jared's not going anywhere. We're going to see a flop tonight. So here comes that flop. Queen, 10-6 with two clubs. Jared out in front with the two sixes right check. now, but it goes check, check. Yeah, they both check. Turn card, three of clubs. Action again on Jared with the sixes. Check. And he's going to check again. Check. And again, Tyler checks. So we go to the river. The king comes off, so Jared's still out in front with the two sixes. Check. Again, he's going to check. Well, look at this. The youngster is going to make a bet here, Vance. This can be a very good bet because it's going to be tough to call with just two sixes here. And the bet is 82,000. Yep. Into the short-lived lawyer from New York. Two-day lawyer said, I would like poker a lot more. I'm playing cards. Is this what you wish for, my friend? Oh, boy. I bet it is. What a call this would be. Well, right now we're saying, geez, it's easier in the courtroom. <laughs> this would be the call of the day. But he is going to fold it. Nicely done by Tyler Smith, oh. who shows his friends in the crowd. Well, there she shows the H.C. Ducey that he had nothing and just bluffed the guy out. <laughs> Doesn't have to show the table. He laughs in their faces. I was trying to compare the two tables from last year and this year. I don't know which table's tougher. Tyler Smith playing his first hand since Tippy Canoe and Tyler, too, were in office. This year, I've got Boyd Corkins on my immediate left. I've told a lot of people that he was one of the best players I've played with. But then again, last year, I had Sohill, and he was just insanely wild. I am sick! I feel more comfortable this year, so I, I, I'm, I have higher expectations this year. Six players remain at the Bowery Village. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. He is going to be our champion. The second title is the number one goal, but it's sort of like getting to the Super Bowl. You know, right now I'm wanting to get to the Super Bowl, so I've got to get down the heads up. And then you get to play for it. I can't win the Super Bowl right now. i got to get to it first. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Beau Rivage in Biloxi, Mississippi for the Southern Poker Championship, where six players remain. Well, Hoyt Corkin's well out in front right now with over two million in chips. And as he said, Vince, his mission is to get a heads-up play, what he calls the Super Bowl. And out of his five previous appearances at these WPT final tables, he's done that three times. Can he do it yet again tonight? A quick fold by Jerry Van Strydunk. And James Reed, the owner of a roofing company, folding as well. But look at this. Mr. Brooklyn has picked up aces. Jared Jaffe. Oh, boy. This is how you get promoted in the law firm, Vince. You pick up bullets. Grace. Oh boy, show tunes going off in your head right there. He's going to raise it to 58,000 to go. And it's very loose tonight, Tyler Smith. Oh boy, well, Vince, he said he was going to force the action tonight, but look at this. He is getting out raisin chips here with a jack four spade, and he is not going to like it. He's raised it to 165. Hoyt with just an ace eight. Cannot play with that. And Jonathan Cantor. Well, he's the oil man out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And his first WPT event, he goes out. Oh, and look at this. Picking on me, huh? Hmm? Picking on me. 
picking on me. Oh, what about this lawyer, Vince? Love that lying line. Well, folks, this is why you stop being a lawyer and become a poker player. You pick up two aces, your opponent comes over the top of you, and now you're going into drama school. It's a tough world, isn't it there, Jared? <laughs> oh, come on, just massage him, just call it. Give me a thrill. <laughs> I'm gonna raise. Oh, don't do it! Oh, boy. Don't blow him away. What are you afraid of, Mr. Brooklyn? Come on. How much more is it? Uh, he's gone up over the top all in. Tyler's acting like... How much more have you got here? He's got the jack four here. It's like 450, right? 500? Well, he's just showing off for the crowd here, Vince. That's for sure. Maybe he's thinking maybe I'm priced in. I don't know. Not priced in for another 600,000. No, I'm not calling. You can say that again. Well, there you go. The lawyer taking down a pot. I should say the poker player now, Vince. He's been a lawyer to become a poker pro. Only 28 years old. It's just so exciting, this game, when it's going right. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. All right, the next hand, Jerry Van Strydunk. Tough young pro quickly folds. And James Reed, the guy that got this turn on a $500 satellite, throws his hand away. And now back on Danny DeVito here. The actor Jerry Jaffe. This time with a decent Jack 10 offsuit. Yeah, he just took down the last pot with two aces, so maybe he thinks he's on a little heater here. He's going to raise it up to 55,000. But his old nemesis behind him, Tyler Smith, with just 9-7, going to re-raise. This is unbelievable, man. Isn't it? You know, last year the guy didn't play a pot at this final table. This year doesn't look like he can throw a hand away. Wade's going to throw that away. Yeah, back to the oil, man. Jonathan Canner looks at the 10 deuce. He's not going to play. So the same two guys battling it out yet again. The last round went to Jared Jaffe. This round might go to him too if he would play this hand. Little does he know, however, that his jack eye is the best hand. Good. Well, he's gonna lay it down. So the 23-year-old bluffing here to take it down and again, showing his buddies in the audience a bluff. Do you only show the crowd when you play against me? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's like four times now, but only against me. I had aces yesterday when I showed you. It's not what my wife said. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody dropped a dime on him, Air Vance. Your wife's lying to you. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> All right, the Andes are going up to 3,000. Blinds 12 and 24 now. Back on Jared Jaffe, quickly folds a King Jack, and now the very reckless Tyler Smith with an ace seven of diamonds. Yep, he's going to raise it to 60,000. Yes, he is. Hoy Cork is behind him, though, with a suited connector. Says he's a position player. Doesn't like his position, and he folds. Yeah, he's got the chip lead. Just going to rest a little here. Now Jonathan Cantor has an ace-five offsuit here. Jonathan from Tulsa, Oklahoma, says, I'm not playing this for the money. And usually that means he's playing for the money, but I kind of believe him this time. He's going to make a call in ace-five. Jerry out, and the roofing guy, James Reed, on eventful 8-4, goes out. Jonathan Cantor is calling because the other guy's raised every single pot so far tonight, so you just can't put a guy on a hand every time. Yeah. And flop is jack, five deuce. So with that flop, Jonathan has taken the lead, but Tyler is continuing to bet here on the jack, five deuce flop. Cool. Yeah, 115,000 with his ace high. Jonathan going to call. We're going to the turn. Now look at this, an oh, ace hits, wow. big trouble card. Check. And now Tyler checks the two aces here. Oil man, get the chips out. Bet's 175,000 with his two pair. Now Tyler in dire straits here. He was bluffing on the flop, now he's hit two aces. He's checked and his opponent has bet 115,000. Very dangerous place he's in right now. Oil man has been playing pretty tight so far. All in. Wow. Well, uh oh. I call. Well, he's going all in. Big mistake by Tyler. Yep. One pair. Yeah. You got a set. Well, he doesn't have a set, but he's got aces up. And you are in trouble. Well, Tyler's going to have to catch a jack or a seven to win this pot. Nothing else will do for him.